Hello everybody, this is Matt and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of how easy it is to install Stackify Prefix. So if I, after I've downloaded the installer, I'm just going to run the installer and agree to the license agreement. Next, install, yes. So Prefix installs as a Windows service, so it's always running in the background. And just like that, it's installed. So it automatically opens up and it comes up and it says prefix is currently disabled to use prefix. Um, you need to enable the .NET profiler for prefix. So all I do here is hit enable profiler. You'll see down here it's going to stop IS. It's going to configure the profiler and then it will restart IS. And that takes just a second. So there we go. It's up and running. So now if I come over to my little sample application here, I can load that load that over there. So over on the left side of the screen I've got my sample app and on my right side of the screen I've got prefix so I can see in real time the traffic. So just like that that's all you have to do to install it. It's insanely easy, right? Now if you're using it with IS Express, so that was with IS, with IS Express um, and you're using Visual Studio 2015 there is potentially another extra step you have to do. The problem is IS Express with Visual Studio 2015 potentially has a different application host.config file for each uh, project and solution where before there was a global configuration. So I'll show you what happens. So I've got my app uh, running here in uh, debug mode already in IS Express. If I open it up and I have prefix open over here, um, I'll load this on the left, you'll actually see it's working. Prefix is working. However, it only partially works. Uh, and that's because our web module is not working and our module collects um, certain data and allows some other things to work um, kind of under the hood and so that's why it's important. Now one way you can tell is if I go into request started here I don't see any of the header data that you usually see that doesn't show and then if I go over here and I load a request that actually is async the async request you'll notice is not showing up and that's because async work you know works across multiple threads and what have you and we need the module to do uh, some of the work that it's doing to know how to tie those uh, async requests back together so again some synchronous requests will work uh, some things will work but they won't work 100 percent and potentially async stuff may not work at all or may partially work so to fix this there's a couple different things we can do uh, from our docs, this is our, our, our doc about this, we, we list three different ways to fix this. You can tell the project file to just use the global host config, which is your application host config file that's for IS Express. Um, you just change your project file and then that fixes it. The other option is to go find your application host config file for that project. Uh, which will be under you know dot vs config application host config um, something like that and I'll kind of show you I think um, so you can do that or if I go in here to my uh, config you'll see global use global application host file you see that there so that defaults to false and if I change this to true um, that would fix my problem and that's all you have to do and that it's one of those things that doesn't really cause any kind of problems on other people's computer if you check this in um, however if you don't want to do this you could also change that application host config that's under the dot vs um, path and uh, put our module in that application host config and that would fix it as well so if I change that there and I go back into Visual Studio now um, it's gonna it's gonna freak out on me because I changed it. Stop the debugging. And so now, if I come back over here and I start my application back up again, hopefully this will work. So now, IS Express is going to use the shared config, the global config, and when Prefix is first installed we automatically um, go ahead and modify the global config to put our module into it so it'll already be there and this would just work because now it's redirecting to the global configuration file. Let's see, this is loading here. All 
Oh, there's a there's those page loads again. Okay, so now we're running. So let's see if we get our our headers again. I can click on that, and now I have my headers. So now because the module's working, it's collecting that additional data. So now let's go hit our async page request, and there it is. So all this does is a couple async uh, Redis calls. But so now those are working as well. Um, so there you go. That's how you get prefix fully working with IS Express. Um, in our doc site, there's a, a page about this, and you got three different options there. You can set the global config, um, or you can go modify the application host config, which is specific to your solution or project. Um, it'll be in this hidden dot VS folder. Um, or your third option is to go ahead and just modify the web config file for your application, and you just add our add our module here. Um, so you got three different ways you can do it. Thanks, guys.